On today's episode of Cooking with Tovia, I'm going to show you guys how to make a sweet potato pie using roasted sweet potatoes. You'll be able to find the recipe throughout the video as well as the scaled down version in the description box. So I have some sweet potatoes that I put onto my cookie sheet here and I line it with foil and I put it in a preheated 425 degree oven and I roasted them for about an hour and a half. Um, I rotated the potatoes, you know, halfway through the cup, the baking process to allow them to cook evenly. And I just cooked them until they became very tender when I pierced it with the fork. So as you see, they're very tender. So I'm going to scoop out the insides. And if you have any edges that are a little bit too dark, which is quite normal when you roast potatoes, just pick all of that out. If you have any dark brown spots from the roots, just pick all that out. And... I am going to scoop all that out and put it into a bowl that I have here on the side. And um, I use quite a few potatoes because I'm making mini pies, but about two and a, two large sweet potatoes will give you about three cups of mashed sweet potatoes, but just depending on how big they are. And of course, these have cooled completely so I can handle them. I actually let them cool overnight so that way um, they can just steam in the skins. And um, when you peel them the next day, they're easier to scoop out and... So in my bowl of my stand mixer here, I'm going to add my sweet potatoes. We're going to fit it with a paddle attachment. And then I'm going to beat this on medium speed for about one minute. I want to make sure the potatoes are really broken apart. So my potatoes have finished whipping. And you see they're very smooth and beautiful color because they were roasted. And because we roasted potatoes, you really don't have to worry about it having too many strings. But um, if you have a lot of strings in your mashed potatoes, just let the mixer run for like 20 minutes. And it will pull all the strings off onto your paddle attachment. So you see here it has some strings on there, but not very many, which is a good thing. So I'm going to scrape this out and put this in another bowl set it aside. We're going to begin with our butter and our sugars, both the brown and white sugar. And then we're going to cream them together for about four minutes using your paddle attachment. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can do this with a hand mixer. Be sure to get the bowl to scrape down after two minutes of, of beating the two together. Okay, so my butters and sugars have creamed together. And I did get the bowl to scrape in between. So now I'm going to add my eggs one at a time, and then I'm going to add the remaining ingredients. So before I, I'm going to add my cinnamon here, I'm going to add one egg at a time. So I add one egg. We're going to beat it for about 30 seconds. I'm going to give the bowl a scrape. And then we're going to have the second egg. I'm going to beat it for another 30 seconds. I'm going to give everything a scrape down after adding all our eggs and then I'm going to add our mashed sweet potatoes. Keep in mind you can find the full measurements for the recipe in the description box under this video. So this is our mashed sweet potatoes. I'm also going to pour in some vanilla extract. And give everything a mix together. Just until it's combined. So after mixing in the sweet potatoes, we're going to add our evaporated milk. 
Is that all that evaporated milk? Let's give everything a mix together. Now I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. Pre-rolled pie crust that I got from the grocery store. I'm gonna lay it into the pan and I'm gonna allow it to fall in naturally. And then after allowing it to fall in naturally, we're gonna fold the top half of the crust behind itself. I'm just pressing the crust in to make sure everything is completely in the pan. We're gonna to try to have the overhang even all over the perimeter of the pie here. So I'm gonna fold the top of the crust behind itself. About a quarter inch down. So fold about a quarter inch over. Then after folding it down a quarter of the way over behind itself, we're going to crimp the edges of the crust. And we're gonna take our thumb and pointer finger and then we're going to use our pointer finger from the other hand and just simply press. And as you're pressing you just lift up and push your thumb in the next space beside it and press. So we're gonna, so after we do that, I have my super tailor batter here. I'm gonna just use a spoon to pour some of that in the middle. Just a sufficient amount to fill up our pie crust here. So after filling the crust with a substantial amount of sweet potato filling, I'm gonna, you can brush the outside edges with the egg wash if you desire, it's totally up to you. I'm not going to do so. So I'm going to spoon, just use the back of the spoon to smooth it over. And this is going to bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 to 45 minutes. So here is the sweet potato pie. And um, I cut a slice so you can see it really good. It's beautiful in color, texture. And unlike this one, um, the previous one I did, I boiled the potatoes and had cream cheese in it. So these are two different recipes. Okay. It took 55 minutes for it to bake completely. And, um, and you see it's nice and golden brown. I didn't egg wash the crust at all. So this is, you know, it's nice. So please add this video to your playlist if you enjoy the recipe. Please um, let me know if you tried this recipe. If you did, if you're following me on Facebook and Instagram, you know, take pictures of what you make from my channel and tag me. I'd love to see it. Please, please, please remember to live and be well. Let's do what we can to come together and love each other. Thanks for watching.